Hello everyone, you Dr. Zia Tahir here with the part 2 of video tutorial vibration analysis of eye beam with different end condition. In the part 1, I solved uh, this beam for both fixed end and in this part I am going to solve that both uh, pinned end, then one pin, one fixed and one fixed and one free end. So the steps which I have followed in the previous video. So they are first I created a model, then I added material and for the material uh, modulus of elasticity, Python ratio and density were added, then analysis type and uh, beam were created in design modular geometry and then material was assigned, then meshed with the element size of 5 mm was performed and then in the model analysis setting 15 mods were requested and the boundary condition was used at face. Now, in this case, when both ends are uh, pin support or simply support, so the boundary condition will be uh, displacement and then pin. And then total deformation uh, uh, was uh, added and then total deformation was uh, visualized and then results were compared with energy cut results. So now, in this case, only need to change boundary condition. So now I'm going to solve that beam when both ends are pin and this configuration is also called as simply supported beam. So I already have that all uh, model and now just in the boundary condition in the setup need to go boundary condition and then environment and in support need to add displacement. So here I have these two fixed ports so I'm going to suppress that both of these and now in in the environment uh, here are you can get the displacement and it says that the battery selection so I am going to select that phase this one phase I am going to select okay apply and then X component for simply supported zero and then Y component need to keep that zero so now here you can see the displacement or boundary condition as pin support is being added here. So now need to add boundary condition on the other side. So for that purpose, need to rotate the beam and then with the box selection, okay. And then this space I'm going to select, okay. So add another displacement here. I am going to rename that as displacement two and then here face selected, applied, x component 0, y component 0. So now here that boundary condition is being created. So now that the displacement 1 on this end and the displacement 2 on the other end. So now I'm going to start. So all these uh, total information need to add which is being shown here. So in the solution, total deformation need to add and then need to solve it. The solution is ready. I mean that it's solved. And now click on solution and these are, these are frequencies. So only required in transverse direction. So that is X, Y plane here. Okay, so that is the deformation. And on the edges, I'll show undeformed model as well. That is the second mode. Third, that is the first mode in transverse direction, and its uh, frequency is 19.761. Then, that is the second mode in transverse direction, and its natural frequency is rotated to 7.78.358. And that's the third mode and associated frequency is 173.82. Okay, so, so analytical solution for pin pin, its frequency equation is sine beta L and these are the force value of beta L for like the first root is associated with the first mode, second, third and fourth. And they are, I have that uh, script here. 
so to solve frequency equation then uh, add beam properties and then to calculate natural frequencies and more shapes so i am going to run that so the natural frequencies comes as 19.8 179 and then 178 and these are the more shapes and these more shapes are very much similar to which we have observed like this is the third more shape and that is third more shape here so now from here we will get the numerical results so these are analytical results and then a comparison so here is a comparison of results so more shape one two three analytical results from uh, this book by ss rao mechanical vibrations by ss rao and then these numerical results from here for for more shapes only in yz direction so that is the third more shape in yz direction and here that is the second mode and its value is there and then this is the first mode in yz direction so here are the results so you can see that for the first mode percentage difference is point minus point three second is 1.2 and the third is 2.6 so that is all done for simply supported or pin pin so that part both pin and is done so the next part is uh, third part so beam with end condition when one is pinned and one is fixed so for that one i'll go there and actually i'm i have disabled these two okay so i'm going to unsuppress so that is this one is i'm i have designated as uh, support one and that other one i have designated as support two so now six four two i am going to suppress and then the displacement one i am going to suppress so now what i'll have uh, first support or uh, the support designated as one is fixed and the other one support two is pin support okay so i'm going to solve that now so analysis is done and then here so these are the more shapes uh, frequency associated with all those more shapes so the deformation in yz plane so more that is the first mode and associated frequency is 3.745 and that is the second mode in yz plane and the, its frequency is 98.42 and that is the third mode with frequency 22.201.8 because these are in transverse plane only so three more shapes in transverse plane only so these are numerical results using ANSYS so now here for fixed pin and so that is the frequency equation and that are the roots of that frequency equation beta L first second third so these roots can be used here to get more shapes so I have here the frequency equation and then the beam properties, natural frequencies and more shapes. So the natural frequency for first mode comes as 30.96, second 100.33209, that's the third and these are the associated more shapes. So these are the associated more shapes and now comparison of results so these are the analytical value which i got from the bat lab here so these are for first second third modes so they are here and these are the numerical values which i got from like that the third mode is 201.8 okay or otherwise it is 12th mode and for the 12th mode the value is 201.8 so i just copied it here to perform a comparison and that is the percentage difference or percentage error by taking analytical values as reference so for first mode it is less than one for second mode it is about two and for third mode it is minus 3.6 so 
so that is a comparison that third part one pinned and one fixed so that is called now fourth part is one fixed and one free it means it's a cantilever beam so means a cantilever beam so one end we need to keep it fixed and the other end we need to keep that free so i have model here in the model i have that one end is fixed port and in this configuration the second end is simple port so i am going to suppress that so when i'm going to suppress that the so only port here is the fixed port and the second one is free so i am going to solve that the solution is ready and here are the natural frequencies for 15 more shapes and then these are more shapes okay i'm interested in transverse plane and in transverse plane that is the first mode and associated frequency is 7.0535 And that is the second mod, and it is 43.839. And that is the third mod, and its frequency is 121.16. So these are the all ANSYS results. So for this cantilever beam, the fixed free beam, that is the frequency equation. And these are the solution of frequency equation for different modes, uh, like first mode shape, second, third. So I have here script for that. So this is the first uh, frequency equation, and then these are the beam properties, and then here is to get natural frequencies in hertz. So I'm going to run it. So for first three mode shapes, frequency is 744 and 123. And here for the third is 121. So similarly uh, for the other one. So I have copied here for, to perform uh, an, an analysis. So these are the analytical results which I just got from the MATLAB 7.06.44.24.123. Okay. And these are the natural frequencies from ANSYS I got for first three modes shape in transverse direction. And then the difference of first one is about zero, the second one is about one percent, and the third one is around two percent. So that is the comparison of results. And with this one, the fourth part cantilever beam or one six and one three and beam is also performed. So that is all of this problem. So both fixed and they are uh, this end configuration or end condition is solved in part one of this video 